Jota, welcome back. It's Thursday night, day three. Um, I'm just waiting outside for my mate. We're about to go and get some dinner. Um, my friend Ian, who's a photographer also, probably have a chat with him about this idea and um, come back to you with some more thoughts. Nothing concrete yet, still. Um, but yeah, let you know. And we're back with a chain gang house attack. I don't know why I said that, unless you're 30 and from New Zealand, probably 30, yeah, at least, you have no idea what that is about, but anyway, so back from dinner, went to Denny's, because they open late, open till, well, I think Denny's pretty much around the world's open 24-7, but as far as I know, there's only one in Wellington, it's in Pyrrha, and they were open 24-7, but... Anyway, long story short, they're in, I can talk at 11 together a lot. Um, had a good chat with my mate. Gave me some good ideas. Got some interesting and exciting um, news. I'm going to probably be involved with a nationwide music tour in January. And I'm going to potentially... Well, if I go, I'm going to be doing security, and I'll also get the opportunity to photograph, so that's cool. Um, I had some good chats about producing books, um, it, yeah, he was helping me with some ideas. Um, I think I might have settled on a camera, I think you guys are probably bored of me talking about cameras, but... I was looking at the Fuji, uh, um, then I realised I had an FD, uh, what's that Canon called? FT, um, and I had a 50mm 1.4 which I recently swapped, but now that's got a 50mm 1.8, but I don't, th I have got some telephoto lenses for that camera, but it, that camera is big. And I don't think I have any wide-angle FD lenses. So that kind of ruled it out. The Fujika, I don't have any fast, really, you know, I don't have any fast 50 or anything. I've got a couple 50 mils, but they're both 2.8. I, I've got an EOS 5 and a 500 and two three thousands and a 500 in heaps of old EOS autofocus cameras um, that I could use like my super wide angle um, Samyang 8mm on and then my 50mm 1.8 cheapy fast 50 but I don't think I want to use anything that new I think I want to use something older so Strangely enough, I think I've ended up here. Pentax P30T. Um, this is a kit lens that came on the newer um, autofocus Pentaxes of the, the early 90s. I believe these came out in the... Well, the P30 came out in 85, and this is newer than the P30. So, 80s sometime. Um... Why this camera? It's got a nice meter. Um, you can shoot in um, aperture priority, which I totally dig. Yet it's still pretty quiet. And that was with a long shutter. Let me give you a nice short shutter. The wind is nice and quick throw. It uses a couple of um, very attainable batteries, same batteries as the Fujikas actually. Um, and the battery, you need the battery, although for this you need the battery for the shutter and the metering. Um, but this has a better, or more easily, I, I can't see the metering dials very well in the Fujika. That was the one thing that was putting me off. So I think, and I don't have, I have stuff all lenses for these. I've got 
two thirty-five to eighty. So I've got this black one. Where did I put that silver one? Basically the same lens, but in silver. Um, and I've got a couple of super zooms, one thirty-five to like three hundred, and one twenty-eight to two ten, I think. So again, nothing super fast. Um, but this body kind of ticks all the boxes I want it to tick. I know this lens is sharp. I've shot with it before. Um, I'm also assuming that this won't have a problem with light leaks that some of the others might, or you know, deterioration. Um, it's pretty clean in there. Actually, very clean. The foam still looks okay. It's not sticky or anything, and it should be because 20, you know, the Canon was came out in '67, I want to say. So this is at least 20 years. 67, 67. Yeah, this is at least 20 years newer than that than the Canon. So. One weird thing is someone's taken the lugs, the carrying strap lugs out of this. I don't think I did it, but it's kind of a thing that I might do because I, as a rule I hate straps. But I've got this thing that you can just... By the way, if any of you guys are getting sick of this uh, camera content, Please let me know. So I can hold, I can carry it like that. Strap it around my neck. Throw it on my shoulder. This is a nice long strap. Um, if I need a strap. Which generally I don't want or need anyway. Um, so this is the third day basically just talking about gear. Which is a bit disappointing I guess. It is a big deciding factor for me. So what this, what I have decided is I am going to shoot film. I was thinking digital, just simply for cost reasons, but I am going to shoot film. I'm going to put a roll of film in this. Now, fix. Let's do that live. Hold on. So, my little film stash. Um, what have I got in here? Couple rolls of gold. There we go, there's a Vista 200. I've got a Fuji 200, a T400CN. I think I'm going to check this roll of Kodak 400. Yep. So I'm committing, I'm chucking this roll of Kodak 400 into this camera and I will do my darndest to shoot this tomorrow. Another great thing about this camera, seems like a small thing but it's DX coded. So you don't have to worry about setting ISOs. So it's real simple with this camera, you just bring the film along to the mark there, close her up, turn it on, on switch, shoot a couple, put it in manual, shoot a couple of frames, that's interesting, don't think I got that. Yep, I did. So, I shot too many film uh, roll, uh, frames there. But what you do to make sure that you're shooting is when you shoot, watch that that's turning. What I should have done when I put that film in is tighten this up so that there's some resistance. Um, and that way you know that you're shooting sooner. And then turn it off. So, yeah.
I'll shoot this tomorrow. I've got a film to pick up tomorrow from the processors, which is what is that film? Um, the last roll I shot in the LT1, and hopefully drop this film off at the same time and see how we go. I'm hoping if there's no light leaks and the everything's working as it should, this lens is nice and sharp, which I already know it is, this is going to be the lens. This is going to be the camera. One decision pretty much made. Ooh. Day three, thanks for tuning in. Thanks everyone who's watching. See you tomorrow.